Welcome to Big Catch Fishing Mississippi. We've got more live scope footage of crappie fishing with jigs. I caught most of the fish on 1 8 ounce white jig heads with a pink pearl Bobby Garland slab slayer spear tail grub. Also, I caught a bunch on the ACC Crappie Sticks Crappie Snacks in the Old Faithful color, which is their version of monkey milk. I was using the 2.5 inch version. As usual, my buddy Festus is with me. Let's get started. Make yourself right at home. First things first, always spray your line with real magic, especially with spinning reels. It makes your line much more manageable and less likely to get tangled up. It's awesome. I just spray it right on there, right on the line. That's it. That's all it takes. There's one. Didn't even see it. 20 feet out. It's 48. A white crappie. A white, maybe 11 and a half. Let him go today. Please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Hey, buddy, look out. fired up now. There's one right in the boat. Eleven inches. Black crappie, a little one. We're letting them go today. There's one right under the boat. It's a mean one. Get up here. That's black crappie. About a 13 and a half inch. It's a 13 and a half inch black crappie. We're letting them go. Spot lots keeping us right on that spot right there. There's one. Seven feet out. I think it's a catfish. Yeah. Oh, 
There's one. Good one. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good black carpet. Thirteen and a half inch black crappie. There's one. Twelve feet out. Nice black crappie. Today, I want to give a shout out to Scott Jordan. He suggested in comments after a video a few weeks ago to change my forward range from 50 to 60 feet to 30 to 45 feet to get better separation. This was an awesome suggestion. I got so used to fishing with a trolling motor without spot lock that I never really could shorten the forward range. But now that I have spot lock, I can do that. So in the next video I make, I'll make sure to decrease the forward range to give more separation and a better live scope view for you. So thanks Scott Jordan. You can get better separation and a better view by adjusting your depth as well. In this example, my depth is set at 27 feet deep, even though the depth of the water is only 13 feet deep and the brush pile tops out at six feet deep. So if I had decreased my depth range to around 17 or 18 feet, that would have improved the separation even more. Come to twenty five feet. There's one. Black crap. There's one. Twenty feet out. We got a white crop here. Right, look at that little fella. Oh my goodness, he choked it. Woo. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this, Bessis. Look at this one, man. Let's measure this thing. Easy, like twelve and a half inches. Twelve and a half inch white crappie. See the stripes on them? Vertical. There's one. Small one. Eleven inch black crappie. There's one.
that little small one. There's one. There's one. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. Doing right around 32 feet from the boat. Uh, 25. I'll drop it right down on that big dick's hood right there. There's one right under the boat. And that is a toad. Oh, we got off. I'm liking that crappie snack. There he is. Oh my goodness, 757. That is a good. I think that's a bass. Or a catfish. Big toad spawned out. Probably three and a half pound largemouth. Choo. There's one. Man, that's a good one. Okay, it's a white crop. Get up in here. Thirteen and a half inch white crappie. Right there. See the stripes on it? let him go thanks so much for watching today it means so much to have your support and i appreciate it i also want to give a shout out to my brother carrie who is my biggest supporter i appreciate the great tips and advice love you bro god bless you all and if you get the chance please get out there and go fishing soon